to AC Physics Exercises with Dr. Ken. Our first exercise, or this is going to be um, around three phase delta mesh in AC circuits. So it's all about um, delta connected three phase circuits. So our first problem, 10.1 is a delta connected resistive load takes a current of 28.6 amps from a supply. What is the current in each phase? And as I continually hound my students, make sure you draw the diagram. Let me just uh, set the pen up. There we go. They tell us what I line is. So they tell us that it's 28.6. So that's the I line. But we've got to find the I phase, and we know that the current breaks up as it comes through this node. And we know for I phase that there is this root 3 relationship. So I phase is equal to IL, the line divided by root 3. So in this particular case we've got 28.6 we divide up by root 3 giving us a nice simple 16.5 amps here in each of the phase windings. Our next one 10.2 the three phase current in each phase of a delta connected load is 150 amps what is the current in the supply? Again, draw the diagram. And in this particular case, they tell us we have 150 amps in each of the phases. And again, as we've just done in the previous exercise, we know that there is this root 3 relationship to I line. So as these currents combine back out through here, there's a root 3 relationship. So we know that I line is equal to I phase multiplied by root 3. So in this particular case, we're going to have 150 times root 3, telling us that we have an I line of 260 amps. 10.3. A delta connected load has a phase impedance of 25 ohms in each phase. The line current IA equals IB and IC has 100 amps. Draw the circuit, calculate the phase currents and the line voltages. So first thing we need to do is uh, make sure we label the diagram and we know the impedance of each of these is 25 ohms got this from the question and we know that the line currents are all 100 amps so each of these line currents are 100 amps and we have to calculate what the phase current is and then what the line voltage is. So first let's work out what the current is, the phase current again reasonably straightforward. IP is equal to I line divided by root 3 so 100 divided by root 3 tells us that there is 57 amps in each of the phases and has to all be the same because they've all got the same impedance. B, the voltage. Well, we have the current through the each of the phases. We have the I phase and we have the impedance of each of the phases. So, nice and easy, the volts phase is going to be the Z phase multiplied by the current. 
and before we jump in there too quickly, also got to remember that volts phase and volts line for a delta are the same thing. So our voltage line and our voltage phase in delta are the same. So we know that we have our 25R and we know we have 57.7 amps. We simply multiply those two together, Ohm's law, and we discover that we actually have a line and or phase voltage of 1.44 kilovolts. So 10.4, a balanced delta connected load consists of a three phase motor with a star winding impedance of 28 ohms Determine the motor line current if the supply is a three phase 440 volts. So a balanced delta connected load consists of a three phase motor with a stator winding impedance of 28 ohms. Determine the motor line current if there is a 440 volt 50 hertz supply. So straight away, let's label diagram. We know that each of our windings is at 28 ohms. Our phase and line voltages are the same. So we know we've got 440 volts across each of our delta connected phases. So we can work out the phase current. It's simply I phase is going to be the volts phase divided by the Z phase. So we know what the volts phase is at 440 volts. We know what the Z is or the resistance and it's at 28 giving us 15.7 amps. So we know the current through any of those windings is 15.7 amps. So we needed to now know what the current was on the line. And again, just as a reminder, there's a root three relationship between the current in the phase and up here, the current in the line. So here's our line. So in this particular case, we're going to have I line is equal to I phase multiplied by root three and if we take our 15.9 and multiply it by root 3, we end up with 27.28. So the 15 amps coming from our previous calc. So our I line, 23. Question 10.5. A delta connected heater with a 500 watt element in each phase is supplied from a three phase, three wire, 415 volt, 50 hertz supply. Determine the current in the heating elements if the fuse in line B has blown. And again, exclamation mark, draw it, draw it, draw it. So here I've drawn it out on my screen for you. And we've got 500 watts in each of the phases here. 415 on A, 415 on C, but B is open circuit. So no current, no connection here. So what do we do next? So there is no phase relationship here whatsoever. So the root three thing won't work. So root three is a waste of time. We have to go straight to Ohm's law. So we go straight into Ohm's law. And the first thing we can determine is the IP 
is the power divided by the voltage. Now we know what the phase voltage is and we know what the line voltage is because in a delta connected system this is both volts line and it's also volts phase at 415. So if I want to find out what the current is here, it's a pretty simple calc, is the current is simply the power in the phase, right, so power in the phase divided by the voltage in the phase. So you've got to be making sure we're dealing with phases, so we know what the power in the phase is, and we know what the voltage in the phase is, so power divided by 415 volts, and that works out at 1.2 amps through elements A to C. So that tells us how much current is running through here. But of course, we're also going to get a little bit of current running through here. So the next thing we need to know is what's the current that's running through here. So if you look at the circuit carefully, if I have 1.2 amps in here and I know that the impedance of this is the same as the impedance there which is the same as the impedance here Therefore, this path has Z1 plus Z2 will equal twice as much. And if it equals twice as much, then it's got to be half as much current. So our current between A, B and C, so the current between A, B and C is simply going to be our 1.2 amps divided by 2 giving us 600 milliamps through that branch. So through here we're going to get 600 milliamps because we effectively have two Z's connected in series. It's a simple series parallel network. Ten point six. An industrial load connected in star has an impedance of 7 ohms per phase. It's connected to a 4 wire, 3 phase, 400 volt supply. Calculate the current in each phase of the load and B, the same load now configured in delta. Calculate the new phase currents. So we've got to go work out a star, then use it and work out a delta. So let's do our star first. So you can see there I've highlighted it in slightly different colour. So we're doing A here first. So that's our first step. We're going to be looking at A, and it is a star circuit they've given us to start with. So here it is in star. We've got 400 volts. It's four wire. There's our neutral, and 400 volts. And they've told us that we have seven ohms impedance in each of the branches. So there's our data on our diagram. So the calculation's not too difficult. Our volts phase is simply going to be our volts line divided by root 3. So we're going to take our 400 divided by root 3, it's going to give us 231 volts. So our volts phase is 231. If we've got the voltage and we've got the resistance, we can of course then calculate the current. So that's the next step. We simply calculate the current. So volt current P is equal to the volts phase divided by the impedance phase. So 231 divided by 7 tells us it's going to be 33 amps flowing in the phase currents. 
The next step now is to do the same thing except we've now got it connected in delta. So it's the same values. So let's just check the values. We've got 400 volts as our line voltages. Our impedances are still at 7R, but we've now got them connected in delta. So our first step is we can calculate the current. Reasonably straightforward job to do that. So our current is simply our phase voltage divided by our phase impedance. And we do have the phase voltage, it's 400 volts. Remember this is volts phase and it's also volts line for a delta system. And there's a root three relationship. But in this particular case, they've given us the impedance. So I can simply use Ohm's law to calculate the current here. And 400 divided by 7 gives me 57.1 amps in each of the phases. So that brings us to the end of AC physics problems in Delta.